I liken it to dancing. A good row is like having a wonderful dance partner where the steps just fall in place. You're on another plane. Getting the chance to row out of the Potomac Boat Club early in the morning, the sun may just be peeking up over the far end of the Potomac, and about 10 minutes out, just past Three Sisters, it's like you're in another world. You couldn't be a better time to be in Washington. The club in its current charter was founded in 1869, and this particular boat house was built in 1908. And one of the things that has, has always been a real concern to the members has been our beautiful porch. And if I had to have one word describe what the porch was like, it would be rot. Rot and undulating. It was not a flat surface, it was not an angular surface, it was almost like the river. Uh, the club and the uh, Potomac River Boathouse Foundation, uh, who was generous enough to help fund the project and really uh, all the way through it was all hands contributing and right up to the end. So all the plywood, you know, most of the, 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 the beans was very dry and rotting. A lot of deterioration, rotten uh, screws, bolts was very so superficial, you see was painted, but when we take the whole thing out, it was very, very bad. There are four large pillars that basically hold up the second and third floors. One of those pillars, it's an arched pillar, was completely rotted out. Adolfo removed that pillar and recreated one exactly in its form. He also took from the old one a section which he uses as a gusset in the wall currently. So that gusset to me is kind of like a, a grandparent holding up the current parents. The porch, it, it's a place where folks will relax. It's plainly visible from anybody going up and down the river or George Washington Parkway. It really is kind of the face of Potomac Boat Club.